Hi, my name is Patrick and I know nothing about car care. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Detailing 101. Welcome back to the, in, I mean the interior oh. of Detailing 101. So in this week's episode, we are going to be focusing on the leather seats of my BMW. Now, when I think of interior stuff, I have no clue. <laughs> Funny that. Um, tried to make conversation there. Good chat. Excellent. There's a plethora of products for interior, isn't there, Dale? Typically with anything in Mugwise, if you come to our stand, we have three different shampoos, we yep. have four or five different waxes, yep. three different detailers. We have a lot of, uh, people would see it as the same thing. Um, but what each of these do is a different job for a different purpose and a different owner. Okay. Now we have here, we have the multi-purpose cleaner, which we're going to be talking about different surface areas of the car. Yep. Now for kind of light, not restoration, but if you've purchased the car and the leather's pretty grimy yeah. and a bit dirty, but not in a bad condition, just Dirty. Yeah. You'd go for the individual leather cleaner and conditioner. Cool. Now these are on vinyl surfaces as well. You can use them. Nice. Um, so these are individual, more concentrated products. So a bit more powerful cleaner, a stronger conditioner. For your everyday maintenance of a good conditioned leather, yeah. you can use the kind of all-in-one cleaner and conditioner. Okay, nice. So it's now three-in-one type thing. Exactly that. It's going to gently clean the leather, condition it, and leave it with a nice satin matte finish. Cool. It's also a gel, so you kind of work it in using application. Pack. Nice. Now. My personal favourite, leather balm. Nice. Okay. So this, you know you have paste wax yeah. in the car. This is a paste wax for your leather. Oh. Now this is, again, if your leather's in really, really good condition, you just want to maintain it just using the one product, you can yeah. use this on its own. And the best thing about it is how good it smells. Oh. Yeah. That's amazing. So what this does is feeds into the leather, gives it some protection, okay. gives it a sheen rather than a shine, yeah. and also gently cleans it as well. Okay. So we're kind of working like on the scale, but with less effort. Okay. To me, that seems like a lot of uh, multi-use products. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into the inside of the car, evaluate the seats to see what sort of condition they're in. Yeah. I don't think they have ever been cleaned. As always, make sure you're part of the Maguire's UK YouTube channel, and let's crack on with the video. Nice. They're pretty grimy. You, you can see, you know, there's a lot of discoloration on there, if that's the word, discolorization. Uh, dis there's a lot of staining yeah, on, on the seats. Um, what you can also see is all, all on the plastics as well, and um, you've got some kind of hardened grease and dirt and grime yeah. in there, which the multi-purpose clean is going to break right through. Because uh, awesome. you don't just want to do leather, we want to do the plastics, we want to do the side trims. Yeah. We want to make the whole place a nicer place to be. This kind of like shiny stuff, is that just, what ha is there any way we can get rid of that or not really? Um, it is over time the kind of seats get buffed and polished. Yeah, because um, like all this cracking, like this is nowhere. This is kind of unsavable by the products. None of our today. products are gonna restore heavily cracked no. leather. So we need all to... we can do is feed into it, give it some life again, and probably take the edge off it a bit, like okay. it less less prominent. So um, we're gonna kind of take the edge off. It's like whenever you've got real deep scratches on the car that come through. Yeah, you're not gonna remove that scratch, um, but what you can do is take the edge off and make it less prominent. Amazing. Right. So. My uh, first thoughts? Yeah. Individual cleaner. Okay. Um, really degrease the seats. We're going to degrease all this crap. So that's um, the multi purpose cleaner, heavy duty. We're going to multi purpose cleaner the plastics and then we're going to use the leather cleaner on the leather. Okay. And then we're going to feed it with some life using the leather balm. We're going to give it some sheen and some protection. Cool. 
Right, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna break the leather and the plastic trims around the leather into kind of two separate bits. So for the plastics, we're gonna use the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner. We'll get onto that in a second. But for the seats, the leather seats, we're gonna be using the individual leather and vinyl cleaner. So we're really gonna concentrate on cleaning the leather uh, and, and reviving it um, through the cleaner. So in order to apply this product, we're gonna be using the detailing mitt. Um, right, Mr. Dale, how do we do this? Help? What you need to, because we're working on the interior surface, is spray directly to the towel. Okay. Don't spray the area, just no. so you don't want to cause too much overspray. Nice. Get um, roughly how much? Like, a good, a good two, two, three, three sprays? sprays yeah. Yep. That seems good. And then all over the leather, yeah? Yep. Work a section at a time so it gets all your attention. <gasps> Straight off. Straight off. I'm so happy already. That mark has been there since before time. And there's no, do you need to like buff it off at all or is it Not because you're working no, it in? Just work an area and then move on. It's you making a big difference already. Today. Like, I don't know if you can see the mitt, but it is. One thing I've already found out is that actually, unlike the bodywork, the interior is a bit more hard work. Um, Not in terms of putting the product on, but in terms of physical, like actual manual labour. It's such a porous material. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you spend way more time sitting on your seats than you do sitting on your paintwork. Yeah. Um, so they, they see a fair bit of action. Um, that's the one thing to say. Um, like you say, you spend way more time in the car. <laughs> It really has made a big difference already in how clean the seats are, in terms of like clarity of colour. Like yeah. the cream is cream or white or grey, whatever colour it is, it, it looks more vibrant. Definitely. What's next? Next, we're going to start addressing the plastics. Cool. So we're going to use the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner. My nemesis when it comes to nailing Should we have the another go at that again? The heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner. Good lad. Um, is what we're going to be using on the plastic. It's just to degrease them, get all that grime out. Because it is a grainy plastic, stuff's just going to get embedded in it and, tr and get trapped. So you want to use something that's going to lift that away, but without altering the way the plastic looks. We're not, we don't want to make it shiny or glossy or smooth it out. Just going to make it as it was, just clean. So I'm going to give you a quick little interior tour. That's part of my door trim. All in there is super grimy, all in here. On the front as well, like it's all marked there. Where, and under there as well, just from where you get in and stuff. Um, underneath here, um, it's just from where your feet kind of hit parts of the car. So now we're gonna be using the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner for those dirty grimy areas in the plastics around here, under kind of where my feet go near the pedals on the door cars and stuff like that. Um, we're just gonna use the microfiber towel for this as well, just because we don't wanna be getting the, the uh, mitt any dirtier. And Dale has kindly handed me some detailing swabs. This is super techy. They're, they're nothing crazy. You don't need uh, any sort of training to use them, um, but it's just great for doing air vents and buttons. Yeah. Stuff like that, a cloth is just kind of saturate and kind of muddy over. Absolutely, um, that's so handy. Just helping you do a thorough detail. Right, again, spray the cloth. Get it in there. Handed machine polisher, but I can do dainty. So delicate. Yeah. See how it's foaming up, firming up? Oh yeah. Dragging out the dirt. Yeah, those corners are hard to get to. Yeah. It's 
So these are the kind of things when I'm looking at someone's car at a car show that I try and look for. Just it's these little touches that make the bigger picture uh, yeah. when it comes to detailing your car. Absolutely. So we're just using the kind of light foam on there just to agitate the surface, foam up and let, let the product do the work for you and drag it out. Nice one. That's right mate. Let's so see you can do all this on the vents. Could go really to town with this. Yeah. We all get a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> So we, we've cleaned it now, it's a bit stripped and bare, so we want to put some protection on there. So I'm going to move over here. Going to get the Ultimate Lever Balm, which comes with a soft foam applicator pad. Because we want to feed it like a, a wax or a polish. So we don't want to use a microfiber towel, because that's going to absorb way too much product. So you want to use a foam applicator pad. So like our waxes, less really is more. So kind of put the pad on, on the balm like that. Just kind of prime the pad. And then kind of just don't give yourself too much to do. Just kind of start feeding the leather. So what's this going to do? Give it a light clean, but also really protect it at the same time. Yeah, and it's also, it's like moisturising the skin. It's going to make it feel a lot softer. Take that kind of dry edge off the leather. Okay. Like I say, we're not, you can see it's starting to fade out some of the lighter cracks. Yeah, absolutely. I like said we're not trying to we're not doing a miracle cure here. We're just working with what we have because you know not everyone has the budget or you know to do a full interior on their car or buy a new set. So you know sometimes when you buy the car that you've always wanted, like your yep. like your BMW, um, you kind of deal with what you got. So we're going to use the bomb to get the most out of what we've got. It does smell absolutely incredible. <laughs> like, I can't even put like a name on the smell. I don't know what it actually smells like. It just smells gorgeous. Nice. Now, is there any kind of wiping off I need to do with this? Or? So, if you're left with a slightly a shinier finish than you're happy with, yeah, get a brand new microfiber towel, spritz yep. it with water, and then just wipe it down. Oh, with water. Yep. Okay. That neutralizes the surface without compromising the protection. Cool. I think we should do that then. So we're gonna do a little 50-50 on my door card. Now, this looks like a lot of dirt, but also maybe some like cracking in the actual leather or vinyl or whatever it is. So we're gonna give this a nice clean and try and do a really good 50-50 on this. So let's give it a go. I've got my leather cleaner. Focus, please focus. Amazing. Give a good couple of spreads on there. And again, just in case anyone missed it, why are you spraying directly to the towel? So we're gonna get overspray over the rest of the car because nothing more annoying than chasing product around. Oh wow, it's coming up really good. I'm having to use a bit more pressure. But that's only because I think the dirt has like really permeated into like the cracks of the leather. Permeated. It looks like a million times better. Some of the marks I think are at like pen or like they're really. I think they're on the surface. Yeah, I think they might be. So they won't come out. But in general, wow. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's absolutely ridiculous. Must they peel to reveal? Shall we peel to reveal? Oh, no way. Look at that. <laughs> that's ridiculous. How filthy were you? Why oh you? my god. That's minging. That's disgusting. That's like arm sweat, all sorts. So you can uh, really see that is filthy. That's crazy. And that's just the leather cleaner on its own. So that was how to clean your leather, detailing 101 style. Um, let's just quickly run over the products that we used, Dan. Mm -hmm. What was first? So first was the kind of cleaning products. So we used the leather vinyl cleaner on the seats yep. and on your side uh, door trim. Yep. 
We also used the multi-purpose cleaner for the bottoms of the seats and the plastics and the switches and the kind of intricate plastic little areas there. Especially these the little bad boys came in handy. Now, if you haven't got any of these, I would. That's pro that's probably my favourite bit of the whole thing. Yeah. Apart from the door. The little part. swabs. And that was a little surprise. You didn't know they were coming. I didn't know they were coming. So that was a nice little surprise for me. So we conditioned and protected the leather by using the leather balm. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to give it a bit of longevity, a bit, a bit of suppleness back into the leather, give it a bit of softness. Um, it's going to take a few applications because oh. the, lev the leather is quite tired. Yeah. Um, but after a few kind of maintenance Ooh. applications of the product, they're going to be fine. Cool. And that smelled incredible. Cool. So that's going to conclude this episode of Detailing 101. Cool. <laughs> The next episode of Detailing One Interior, we're going to be tackling the plastics, the dashboard, the centre console, all that sort of good stuff. Then really pernickety areas, um, which desperately need a good clean. Like and subscribe to McGuire's UK YouTube channel. If you need any information on any of the products we use today, they will all be linked in the description. Or if you need any help with anything else, you can use the contact us page on our website or contact us through social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram. See you later. Don't you swallow it? Swallowed. That's it, it's not going years. through years. A plethora of products for interior, isn't there, Dale? Okay. You said you weren't going to co cooperate with me today. Yep. Let's start cooperating. Should we, should we start again? No! Let's start again. You just come kind of this side of the mic and it should be able to pick you up. You don't have to stand that close, but it'll pick you up. Right in your ear. So, if you, even if you go into Alfred's or Amazon, order it on Amazon, wherever, go into there, smell it. That's all you need. Can I help? Then, did we talk about this? Good. I did say to use on the door company, so. Excellent. Well done, Patrick.